Queen's University Belfast informally Queen's or QUB is a public research university in Belfast, Northern Ireland. The university was chartered in 1845, and opened in 1849 as Queen's College, Belfast. Queen's offers academic degrees at various levels and across a broad subject range, with over 300 degree programs available. The current president and vice-chancellor is Ian Greer. The annual income of the institution for 2017-18 was £369.2 million of which £91.7 million was from research grants and contracts, with an expenditure of £338.4 million. Queen's is a member of the Russell Group of Leading Research Intensive Universities, the Association of Commonwealth Universities, the European University Association, Universities Ireland and University. UK. The university is associated with two Nobel laureates and one Turing Award laureate. History Queen's University Belfast has its roots in the Belfast Academical Institution, which was founded in 1810 and which remains as the Royal Belfast Academical Institution. The present university was first chartered as Queen's College, Belfast, in 1845, when it was associated with the simultaneously founded Queen's College, Cork, and Queen's College, Galway, as part of the Queen's University of Ireland, founded to encourage higher education for Catholics and Presbyterians, as a counterpart to Trinity College, Dublin, then an Anglican institution. Queen's College, Belfast, opened in 1849. Its main building, the Lanyon Building, was designed by the English architect, Sir Charles Lanyon. At its opening, it had 23 professors and 195 students. Some early students at Queen's University Belfast took University of London examinations. The Irish Universities Act, 1908 dissolved the Royal University of Ireland, which had replaced the Queen's University of Ireland in 1879, and created two separate universities, the current National University of Ireland and Queen's University of Belfast. <laughs> Parliamentary representation The university was one of only eight United Kingdom universities to hold a parliamentary seat in the House of Commons at Westminster until such representation was abolished in 1950. The university was also represented in the Parliament of Northern Ireland from 1920 to 1968, when graduates elected four members. Topic Contemporary university life On 20 June 2006, the university announced a £259 million investment programme focusing on facilities, recruitment and research. One of the outcomes of this investment has been a new university library. The Maclay Library was designed by Boston-based architects Shepley, Bullfinch, Richardson and Abbott, working in association with Belfast Architects, Robinson-Patterson Partnership, and opened in July 2009. The building has been named in honor of Sir Alan Maclay, a major benefactor of Queen's University and of the library. In June 2010, the university announced the launch of a £7.5 million Anson International Research Hub with Seagate Technologies. Queen's is one of the largest employers in Northern Ireland, with a total workforce of 3,903, of whom 2,414 were members of academic, academic related, and research research staff and 1,489 were administrative employees. Campus In addition to the main campus on the southern fringes of Belfast City Centre, the university has two associated university colleges, St. Mary's and Stranmillis located in the west and southwest of the city respectively. 
These colleges offer teacher training for those who wish to pursue teaching careers and a range of degree courses, all of which are centered around a liberal arts core. While the university refers to its main site as a campus, the university's buildings are in fact spread over a number of public streets in South Belfast, primarily, University Road, University Square, University Street, Malone Road and Stranmillis Road, with other departments located further afield such as in Titanic Quarter and Potiphery. Organization and governance Topic Faculties and schools Academic life at Queen's is organized into 15 schools across three faculties. The three faculties are the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences AHSS, the Faculty of Engineering and Physical Sciences EPS, and the Faculty of Medicine, Health and Life Sciences MHLS. Each of the faculties operate as a primary management unit of the university and the schools are the focus for education and research for their respective subject areas. School of Arts, English and Languages Faculty of AHSS School of Biological Sciences Faculty of MHLS School of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering Faculty of EPS School of Electronics, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Faculty of EPS. School of History, Anthropology, Philosophy and Politics, Faculty of AHSS. School of Law, Faculty of AHSS. Queen's Management School, Faculty of AHSS. School of Mathematics and Physics, Faculty of EPS. School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Faculty of EPS School of Medicine, Dentistry and Biomedical Sciences Faculty of MHLS School of Natural and Built Environment Faculty of EPS School of Nursing and Midwifery Faculty of MHLS School of Pharmacy Faculty of MHLS School of Psychology Faculty of EPS School of Social Sciences, Education and Social Work Faculty of AHSS Other academic provision The Gibson Institute Land, Food and the Environment, established in 1999, it is primarily involved in education and research in the areas of sustainability, rural development, environmental management, food marketing, renewable energy, nutrition, physical activity and public health. Institute for Global Food Security IGFS, a subsidiary of the School of Biological Sciences. Established in 2013 to research and address key questions about the future of the world's food systems. The Senator George J. Mitchell Institute for Global Peace, Security and Justice, established in 2012, the Institute aims to connect the perspectives of all those who seek to contribute to conflict transformation and social justice, from the insights of world-leading researchers to the experience of practitioners, policy makers, politicians and activists. Institute of Cognition and Culture, established in 2004, this is one of the world's first centers for research in the cognitive science of culture. It has brought together a range of cutting-edge cognitive scientists via a series of visiting fellowships. Institute of Electronics, Communications and Information Technology ECIT, established in 2003 to commercialize world-class research and expertise in a variety of enabling digital communications technologies at the School of Electronics, Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at Queen's University Belfast. Institute of Irish Studies, established in 1955, it was the first of its kind to be established in the world and is one of the leading centres for research-led teaching in Irish studies and is an internationally renowned centre of interdisciplinary Irish scholarship. 
Institute of Professional Legal Studies IPLS established in 1977, it provides an internationally recognized and unique one-year postgraduate course for trainee barristers and trainee solicitors. Institute of Spatial and Environmental Planning ISEP, a sister institute to the School of Natural and Built Environment. Established in 2000, it specializes in research projects in regards to planning and development courses. Institute of Theology, consists of several colleges with a Christian emphasis, including St. Mary's Catholic, Union Theological College Presbyterian, Belfast Bible College non-denominational, as well as Baptist and Methodist colleges in Belfast. In all five colleges teach any programs with a theological emphasis on behalf of the university, the university may confer theology degrees but cannot teach the subject itself. William J. Clinton Leadership Institute, a sister institute to Queen's Management School. Established in 2011, the Leadership Institute provides leadership development and training courses to private, public and third sectors outside QUB. Topic. Governance Queen's has been led by a distinguished line of vice-chancellors, including Sir David Keir, Lord Ashby of Brandon, Michael Grant, Sir Arthur Vick, Sir Peter Froggatt, Sir Gordon Beveridge, Sir George Bain and Sir Peter Gregson. The current vice-chancellor, Ian Greer, was appointed in January 2018, following the sudden death of the previous vice-chancellor, Patrick Johnston. The university's chancellors have included Anthony Ashley Cooper, 9th Earl of Shaftesbury, Field Marshal Alan Brooke, 1st Viscount Alan Brooke, Sir Tyrone Guthrie, Eric Ashby, Baron Ashby, and George J. Mitchell. The last chancellor was the businessman Thomas Moran who died in August 2018. The search for his successor is currently underway. <laughs> <laughs> Academic profile Research <laughs> 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 Queen's University Belfast was admitted as a member of the self-appointed Russell Group of UK Research Intensive Universities in November 2006. It was ranked joint 42nd in the UK for the quality GPA of its research and 19th for its research power in the 2014 Research Excellence Framework. Topic: Rankings and Reputation. The Times Higher Education Rankings 2018 placed Queen's 32nd out of 93 in the UK. In the 2018 QS World University Rankings, Queen's was ranked 202. In 2019, it ranked 258th among the universities around the world by Shimago Institutions Rankings. In the National Student Survey 2013, Queen's was ranked 12th in the UK for student satisfaction. Queen's is ranked 202 in the world according to the 2018 QS World University Rankings. Research at the university includes investigations of cancer, sustainability, wireless technology, creative writing, pharmaceuticals, and sonic arts. In 2016, the university ranked 36th in the UK according to the Complete University Guide. The university has been awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize for further and higher education on several occasions, including for work in comprehensive cancer services and improving survival rates for patients in Northern Ireland. In 2015, Queen's was awarded the Queen's Anniversary Prize for work in the field of engineering and technology. Topic. Admissions Entrance to Queen's have, on average, 359A, as level points and there are currently 5.3 applications per place, although this is misleading because virtually all applicants come from Northern Ireland and most apply for multiple courses. 
The Sunday Times has described the Queen's admissions policy as among the most socially inclusive in Britain and Northern Ireland. 99.5% of first degree entrants are from state schools, although this is mainly due to the lack of private schools in Northern Ireland. The university gives offers of admission to 86.1% of its applicants, the third highest amongst the Russell Group. In the 2016 17 academic year, the total student population was 23,850, of whom 18,795 were undergraduates and 5,055 postgraduates. In the 2016-17 academic year, the university had a domicile breakdown of 87, 4 to 9 of UK, EU, non-EU students respectively with a female to male ratio of 56 to 44. There was also a total student population of 2,250 at the university's St. Mary's and Stranmillis University Colleges as of 2013-2014. Queen's was established with the aim of attracting both Protestant and Catholic students. While the university does not publish data on the religion affiliation of its students, Rupert Taylor, who conducted his Ph.D. research on the university during the Troubles, argued in an article published in 1988 that, whilst in the past, especially before the Second World War, Catholics were underrepresented this is not currently the case. Taylor cites data showing that Catholic representation amongst undergraduates rose from 21.9% in 1958-59 to 27.4% in 1968-69 and 42.5% in 1978-79. By the late 1990s, 54% of Queen's students were Catholics, compared to a 48% share of the Northern Ireland population aged 18 to 25. The growing share of Catholics in the student population is in part due to the tendency of middle-class Protestants to go to university in Great Britain rather than Northern Ireland. In 2009, Queen's signed a joint venture partnership with Inta University Partnerships, creating Inta Queen's University Belfast. The Inta Centre is based on campus and provides a foundation year for international students who want to study at the university. Topic. Student life Topic. Students' Union The Students' Union at Queen's QUBSU is located opposite the Lanyon Building on University Road, and is provided for under the university statutes. All students at the university are automatic members of the union, making it one of the largest unions on a single campus in Ireland and the UK. It is administered by the Students' Representative Council SRC, elected every October, on a faculty basis, and an executive elected in March, who manage the operations of the union in conjunction with several full-time staff. The current union building is to close at the end of August 2018, with demolition scheduled for March 2019, marking the beginning of a three-year process of rebuilding the union building. Interim facilities are being provided in other university buildings and, for the union bars, a newly acquired space on the Lisburn Road opposite the Medical Biology Center. Topic. Union services A range of services are provided by the Students' Union, including an advice centre with full-time staff to help with issues such as money problems, accommodation and welfare. Commercial services are also provided for by the Union and include a shop, canteen and coffee franchise. There are also four bars within the building, the biggest of which, the Mandela Hall, hosts numerous concerts each year as well as the majority the Students' Union's club nights. Topic. Clubs and societies 
More than 50 sporting clubs and over 100 non-sporting societies are recognized by the Students' Union Council and therefore eligible to apply for an annual grant from the university. The oldest society in Queen's University is the Literary and Scientific Society which focuses on debating political, cultural and social issues within Northern Ireland. Established in 1850 by Edwin Lawrence Godkin, the society has been very successful and produced some of the finest orators within Northern Ireland. The Dragonslayers Gaming Society hosts one of Ireland's largest games conventions, QCon, in June of each year, and cultural groups such as Uncommon Gaelic and the Ulster Scots Society are also present. The Queen's University Mountaineering Club is notable for producing three Everest summiteers including Ireland's first, Dawson Stelfox. Roger McMorrow and Nigel Hart also summited in May 2007, and were subsequently jointly announced Queen's University Graduates of the Year for 2006-07 for their role in rescuing a young Nepalese climber left for dead near the summit. QUB is one of only 20 universities in the United Kingdom to have the privilege of an AIESEC local chapter, developing leadership, business and soft skills in highly motivated students, as well as providing international opportunities through their work abroad program. Housing Queen's provides housing for both undergraduates and postgraduates, although because of the compact size of Northern Ireland many students chose to live at home and commute. In 2005-06, 36% of Queen's students lived in private accommodation within Belfast, 29% lived with parents or guardians, 20% in private accommodation outside of Belfast, and 10% lived in university-maintained accommodation. The university provides accommodation on a purpose-built student village called Elms Village, which has its own bar and shop, located on the Malone Road, south of the main campus, as well as in a number of houses in the South Belfast area, including at College Gardens and on Mount Charles. Topic. Cultural life The university had hosted the annual Belfast Festival at Queen's since 1961 but announced in March 2015 that it would not continue to fund the festival. It runs the hugely successful Queen's Film Theatre, described as Northern Ireland's leading independent cinema, the Brian Friel Theatre and an art gallery, the Naughton Gallery at Queen's, which is a registered museum. In 2008 the Naughton Gallery was awarded the Times Higher Award for Excellence and Innovation in the Arts. Housed in the Lanyon Building since 2001 is a marble statue by Pio Fetti of the great physicist Galileo, portrayed deep in thought. <laughs> Sport Queen's Physical Education Centre abbreviated to and known widely as the PEC recently went through an extension programme was awarded Best Building 2007 by the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors RICS Northern Ireland. It is one of the largest sports centres in the British Isles. This building houses many squash courts, several climbing walls and is home to QUB's senior men's and women's basketball teams. The University Playing Fields, also known as Malone Playing Fields, is located just over 2 miles .2 kilometers from the main campus, comprising 17 pitches for rugby, association football, Gaelic football, hockey, hurling, camogie and cricket. In addition, there are three netball courts, nine tennis courts and an athletics arena where the Mary Peters track is situated. The area and its surrounding forest of Barnett's Demen are mapped for orienteering. The university's association football team, Queen's University Belfast AFC, play in the Irish Second Division. Queen's snooker team have won the British InterVarsity title on a record nine occasions and are the current champions. Queen's University Belfast Boat Club is one of the most successful clubs in the university. 
the QUB Boathouse, home of Queen's University Belfast Boat Club QUBBC, and Queen's University of Belfast Ladies Boat Club QUBLBC, is located on the River Lagan near Stranmillis. In 2010 they were reigning Irish champions in men's intermediate and senior Aitza. They are also reigning Irish university champions in men's senior Aitza, women's novice Aitza and women's novice Fawes. They are the only rowing club in Ireland to have a full-time rowing coach. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Visual identity. The graphic identity, which includes the logotype, was originally created in 2000 by Lloyd Northover, the British design consultancy founded by John Lloyd, graphic designer, and Jim Northover. This identity was updated in 2011 by Belfast-based brand consultancy, Mammoth. Queen's visual identity was redesigned again in October 2017, also by Mammoth, replacing the Q identity with an updated version of the university's crest. <laughs> Notable alumni and academics Queen's has a large number of now famous alumni, including former President of Ireland Mary McAleese, Nobel Prize winners poet Seamus Heaney and politician Lord Trimble, former Prime Minister of Northern Ireland Lord Faulkner of Downpatrick, Lords Chief Justice of Northern Ireland, Lord Hutton and Lord Kerr of Tonemore, Justice of the Supreme Court of United Kingdom, former Speaker of the Northern Ireland Assembly Lord Alderdice and former and current Northern Ireland Ireland ministers Sir Reg MP, Mark Durkin, Nigel Dodds and Connor Murphy, and former Irish Free State Minister and prominent Sinn Féin member Owen McNeill. Irish Ambassador to Nigeria Sean Hoy graduated from Queen's. Other alumni include poet Paul Muldoon, actors Liam Neeson and Stephen Ray, comedian and presenter Patrick Keelty, novelists Patrick Hicks and Brian McGilloway, broadcasters Nick Ross and Annie Mack, journalist Chris Smith, scientists John Stuart Bell, Frank Pantridge and Thomas Henry Fluitt. Other alumni include John Bodkin Adams, Trevor Ringland and David Cullen 2007 winners of the Arthur Ashe for Courage Award, David Case Air Commodore, the highest-ranking black officer in the British Armed Forces, Tim Collins former commanding officer of the 1st Battalion, Royal Irish Regiment, Drew Nelson former Grand Secretary of the Orange Order, and Elizabeth Gould Bell, the first woman to practice medicine in Ulster. Notable academics who have worked at Queen's include Paul Bew, Baron Bew, Sir Bernard Crossland, Tony Hoare, Michael Mann, poet and critic Philip Hobsbawm, John H. White and poet Philip Larkin was a sub-librarian at the university in the early 1950s. Four alumni had very long and distinguished careers in the Far East. Sir Robert Hart was the Inspector General of China's Imperial Maritime Customs for almost 50 years. Sir Hiram Shaw Wilkinson served in British Consular Service in China and Japan for 40 years retiring as Chief Justice of the British Supreme Court for China and Korea. Sir James Russell was Chief Justice of Hong Kong. John Kerry Hall served in the British Japan Consular Service for more than 40 years retiring as Consul General in Yokohama. <laughs> <laughs> Links with other universities In 2014, Queen's announced the opening of China Medical University, Queen's University Belfast Joint College CQC, a partnership between Queen's School of Pharmacy and China Medical University CMU in Shenyang, Liaoning Province. CMU, had a long-standing relationship with the Queen's University School of Pharmacy at Queen's prior to the Joint College. Queen's also has links with Shenzhen University, which began in 1998 and continues to prepare approximately 40 students per year for a degree at Queen's.
Queen's participates in the European Union's Erasmus programme, allowing undergraduate students to study for a period at universities in Austria, Finland, Iceland, Portugal, Belgium, France, Italy, Slovakia, Bulgaria, Germany, the Netherlands, Spain, the Czech Republic, Greece, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Hungary, Poland and Switzerland. Queen's is also part of the Utrecht network which works towards the internationalization of higher education. The university also has exchange programs with Fordham University School of Law in New York, USA, the University of Newcastle and the University of Tasmania in Australia, and two universities in Canada, Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario, and the University of Alberta in Edmonton, Alberta, Ching Yun University in Zhongli District, Taoyuan City, Taiwan, lists Queen's as a sister institution. The university is also a member of the Top Industrial Managers for Europe TIME, Association. Queen's takes part in the British Council's Business Education Initiative Study Abroad Scheme sending a number of undergraduate students to study business and related subjects at participating higher education institutions in the United States. Topic. See also Belfast City Hospital Education in Northern Ireland List of modern universities in Europe 1801 Church of Ireland and Methodist Chaplaincy, Belfast List of public art in Belfast <laughs> Notes <laughs>